Evolving Skies is just around the corner, and from the fact that that has EV Heroes, Sky Stream, and Towering Perfection cards in it, I thought it was about time we took a look at what the potential chase cards might be. <laughs> That's right, everybody. Welcome back to the Card Market Pokemon channel. Connor here, bringing you the top six cards from the Japanese sets that are going into Evolving Skies that cost the most. Bit of a convoluted way of saying we're taking a look at the Eevee Heroes sets, the Evolving Skies uh, sets of uh, Skystream and uh, Darren Perfection, and we're going to try and see, you know, what the chase cards might be just based on values from these three sets. So, without further ado, Let's jump straight in with number six. So, going off the card market prices for what you could buy these cards for, number six is actually a slightly odd one because it hasn't sold any copies, so who knows if this is really a good value. But it is actually the Rayquaza VMAX Rainbow Rare. Look at it. So, it's got a lot of things going for it, right? We all know that Rayquaza is a super popular Pokemon. We all know that VMAXs are relatively hard to pull, right, compared to their V counterparts. These are the, the harder ones to pull. And we also know that the Rayquaza VMAX card as a whole is uh, going to be a fairly popular one, right? It's a deck that a lot of people are very excited for. It's very reminiscent of the old Ray Eels deck, uh, also featuring this lovely Rayquaza. Um, and it's going to be Rayquaza Sheep, which is kind of fun. But... That doesn't explain why the Japanese copy is so expensive. I mean, Japanese cards on the whole, are more expensive because there's not as many of them in Europe to get your hands on, right? So prices are inflated. And we know that these sets sold out basically instantly in Japan. Uh, the queues around the block to get your hands on any of these products. So not many here whatsoever. But this is at 19... or 199 and 90 cents right now on card market to buy a copy of this. And that just feels a bit odd because... We'll see some other cards on this list that have, in my opinion, much nicer arts. But it's here at number six. In at number five, I'm actually super happy this made the list because this is a Pokemon that, at least in the TCG sense, has been... Kind of terrible and unloved for ages. It's a Leafeon. Oh, look at the Leafeon VMAX. It's so pretty. The farm. It just looks so good. And it's so nice to see a Leafeon actually on a list where I'm not taking the mick out of Leafeon. We've had the GX. That was terrible. Did have a cool art, but it was terrible. And all the other evolutions have had their time to shine. And I'm not saying this card is strong. But it looks pretty good, and it's a whole nine cents cheaper, or more, uh, more expensive, sorry, than the Rayquaza VMAX we just talked about. So this is at 199.99. So, you know, just squeaks in ahead of the Rayquaza, but I'm so happy Leafeon has finally made a list for a good reason. Because it just feels like it's the forgotten evolution, along with Glaceon, like the two... They just feel so unloved, and I'm just so happy they finally made it. So, in at number four, and honestly, this shows how hard it was to be on this list, and, you know, that there are some cards coming up that are startlingly expensive. We have Rayquaza v. Alt. Art, right? I actually love this art. I love the way it looks. I love the Zinnia inclusion. I think this just looks fantastic. I've mentioned it before. I actually really love the look, the art on this card. But this comes in at 330 euro, which is a big step up from five and six, right? Like we've added 130 euro. We've nearly, uh, you know, just under doubled the price. And that's a big step up. But we look at why on this card, right? We have the Rayquaza, super popular. We have Zinnia. People love to see the characters. Zidia is extremely popular too. It's also, again, it's a V, it's an alt art, 
And we also know that the set, the Skystream, was actually very hard to get your hands on because everyone wants it. So kind of demand, supply and demand kind of balancing out. This card looks fantastic. It is expensive as a result, right? This is not one that will be very easy to add to your collection. Might be worth waiting for the, you know, unless you try to collect exclusively Japanese cards. I'm imagining we're going to have more copies of this available in English. Uh, than the handful available currently. But, you know, for 330 euro, if that's what you want in your collection, it could be worse, right? It could be... Number three on our list. Number three on our list. So, we kind of started off with, you know, Skystream, one EV, and a Skystream. Um, and now we're going to go into kind of EV mode for a second, right? Because number three... Is Sylveon VMAX. Sylveon is a super popular evolution, right? Fairy type was introduced in X and Y. It was kind of iconic in X and Y. It's been playable. It just has that kind of cute appeal turned up to 11, right? EV as a whole and the evolutions as a whole are pretty cute looking Pokemon, but with the bow and the ribbons and stuff, it gets turned all the way up. And Sylveon VMAX looks stunning in this art. But it does mean it costs 485 euro, which hurts my soul because I'd love to own a copy of this in Japanese, but I'm going to have to wait for the English because it just costs so much, but looks brilliant at the same time. And honestly, it's a card that doesn't lose, you know, it's not going to be playable in English necessarily or like, it, so it's not as if it's going to be cost you a fortune to pick up an English copy, I imagine. It could be... Fairly expensive, but I don't think it's going to be the chase card. We'll come on to those now. So maybe worth waiting out a little bit longer. Like I said, we're going in now. Number two on our list is Umbreon VMAX. Now, again, I've mentioned this before. I'm an Umbreon fanboy. This is my favorite evolution. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. It looks fantastic. But also this art on the tower with the moon... It's just so good. And I just love the styling of these, you know, arts. Like, they haven't gone for that kind of very solid line that they've gone before previously in, like, kind of block colours. It's just beautiful illustrations. And this card is gorgeous. And with the EV Hero set being basically out of stock from the second it was announced in Japan, um, this is not an easy-to-get card. And the price honestly reflects that it's 550 euro to get a japanese copy on card market right now now that may not be true i might have bought that copy before you get there because i really want one but this is going to be one of the chase cards in evolving skies 100 percent. the others will be expensive don't get me wrong but this is going to be one of the cards that a lot of people want i think we're going to see this with a lot of the evolutions in particular but umbreon uh, Sylveon the, being the main two, these cards are fantastic in terms of collection value. They look gorgeous, and I wouldn't be surprised to see these pushing way above the 100 euro mark. I might be wrong. I could be wrong. It depends how much supply we get, but these are going to cost some money, and if you pull them, they you know, might be worth holding on to for a little while, because they're only going to go up. <laughs> And when they go up, they will be trying to join, in the upper, upper reaches of the atmosphere, a bafflingly expensive Rayquaza VMAX Altar at 700 euro. So, I come from a playing background, mostly, so I understand people wanting to collect, right? I have cards that I have purely for collection reasons. 700 euro for a card you couldn't play even if you wanted to, though? confuses me but i also sort of get it here because this is just another one of those beautiful beautiful artworks which really summarizes how awesome rayquaza is right the the scaling of it with the trees it just looks unbelievable but 700 euros is steep and again, it's one of those cards that will be the chase card in the set, right? For it, the English copies of this card will also be 
equally expensive because we're going to have things like uh, people want to play it, right? People who want to play their max rarity decks will want this copy for uh, Ray Sheep. They will also want it because it's a Rayquaza card. It's a VMAX. It'll be hard to pull. It's gonna be pricey. Launch weekend, this could be 150 200 Could even be more. I don't know. But it could come down if the deck doesn't do terribly well, which, you know, in testing, some people are saying it's a little bit clunky. But just from a collector's standpoint, this is never going to be a cheap card. This is the card that, if you buy it to play, you hold afterwards. If you have a play set of these, you sit on them for a few years after you stop playing the deck, and then make your money back, and then some. Because this will always, always be in demand. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in on that list. It was a bit of a weird one, right? Because it's a lot more cut and dry than some of the previous lists. It's not sub subjective, right? There's a price list. But I hope this is something that you guys want to see, right? Because... This is something that we can do with access to card market. We can look at card prices. And I'm maybe try and do things like how prices change as things go on, right? We can try and monitor that as part of like the Self Co series or something. So if that's something that you want to see, let me know down below what other things that we could do using the information available on card market. I love some stats. But with that, thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead hit the like button or maybe even click subscribe if you would like to because we have a lot more content coming up for Evolving Skies including giveaways starting soon. But thank you very much guys. I've been Connor and I'll see you next time.